What's up guys? Um, I didn't really get a chance to film anything today, so I apologize for that. I've been working on the back deck all day, um, restaining it, repainting it, and all that stuff. Um, so I was trying not to look at much at the market because we were we started up like up 2200 bucks and then we finished down quite a bit. So so let me just show you how much we lost today. So as you can see, we did pretty bad. There was about a that was about a six thousand dollar swing we had from earlier this morning to when we finished. But yeah, I didn't really get a chance to look much at the news. I did hear from someone that uh, AMD was downgraded recently by Goldman Sachs. Who else? Um, they're probably looking to get in cheap again, like they usually do. So, but let's look at the percentages. Um, we did have a really good day with the uh, Cara Pharmaceuticals, the one that uh, or Cara Therapeutics. My bad. Um, that one of my friends told me about um, on Friday or Thursday, one of those days. So I just threw some money into that one, and it, it did really well today. So I'm really excited about that one. We had a couple of good ones with hemp and, and uh, blackberry, but not really much, um, you know, not monetary, like nominally. We didn't do very well, but percentage-wise we did. And then you can see the ones we took the biggest hit with today was NVIDIA and Universal Display, and then Tesla, Amazon, um, AMD, Whole Foods. So I think, you know, I still think Amazon's great, Tesla's great. I'm really not worried quite yet. I am gonna keep a close eye tomorrow and the next day to see what's going on in the news. Um, I am playing golf tomorrow morning though, so I won't have, I'll just be have to, have to read a lot of articles and uh, looking at the CNBC website or something. The watch list, I added to some pharmaceutical biotech companies, a uh, recommendation from a friend again, the same friend that told me about Cara. So I've been keeping an eye on, I'm gonna start keeping an eye on biotech just to see if I can get into that industry soon. But you can see Nintendo was just, man, on fire. Look at Nintendo. I sold that like around 26, 25 bucks a share. And yeah, look how it's been on fire since then. <laughs> That's my luck though. But we did make more money with options anyway, so it's all good in the hood. But we got Micron, did well, Target, Disney. And I'll quickly scroll through the other pages. Sorry for the glare. I'm still researching um, the best screen capture software, so I know which one I could use. I don't want to pay for any right now because I don't have a lot of money. But we are sitting at $103,560, so we're still above 100 k which I'm happy about. Um, hopefully we can get back to where we were last week. But I'm still happy as long as we're above 100 I will be happy uh, for the year. So, you know, nothing quite yet to worry about, but crossing my fingers that it goes back up tomorrow. All right, so I'll wrap up today's video. Um, if you did like that video, or if you did like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and share with your friends, like I always say, if they're looking to get into investing. It's always good to watch someone else do it or at least talk to friends about it so you know going in what to expect. I am gonna make a video in the future about some of my best advice for beginner investors just based on what I've seen a couple of my friends do recently because it reminded me of what I did recently. So I will make a video about that in the near future um, to really help you guys if you are just getting into the market, avoid some of those mistakes. But they're kind of hard mistakes to avoid, so you might still make them anyways, but at least some of you, or at least most of you, will at least know uh, ahead of time what to look out for so that you hopefully don't make those mistakes. Anyways, there's Snickers up there. She says bye. Uh, so I hope you guys had a fantastic day, and we will see you guys tomorrow.